Hi guys, so now we're going to be doing paper two of the June 2023 past paper or the paper that you guys wrote recently. So I just chose this interesting question here. As you know, I'm currently looking for interesting questions that you guys wrote about. So what I love about this one is that there's few information, but there's higher marks. As you can see here, it's five marks. So you have to work a bit. But it's not really uh, much you're just manipulating the problem to get to the final answer right so let's take a look at the question and solve it so we are given point a b c and d right uh in this circle they all lie on the circumference of a circle right and we're asked to prove that c2 is equals to angle angle c2 is equals to angle b minus angle a1 right so we are required to prove that angle C2 is equal to angle B minus angle A1, right? So that's what we are required to prove. So here's what we're going to do, right? What we know is since all these four points lie at the circumference of this circle, it makes this shape or this polygon A a, a cyclic quad, right? So we can simply uh, say that first before we even solve. Uh, we can say A, B, C, D is a cyclic quad. Maybe you can state your reason and say A, B, C, and D lie on. Uh, the circumference of a circle. So it's important to state this um, statement because you're going to apply the properties of a cyclic quad immediately after you've stated this. So if you don't really state it, I don't know if you'll get marks or not, but it's really important to state it because you were not told that this is a cyclic quad. So you just need to prove that it is a cyclic quad. So hence, we just mentioned that it is a cyclic quad. Why? Because all four points lie on the circumference of the circle. Fine. So now that you've proven that this is a cyclic quad, we can apply the properties of cyclic quad. There's no other way of solving this rather than applying the properties of a cyclic quad. If you have any interesting ways, please let me know in the comment section of any interesting ways of solving this rather than the properties of a cyclic quad. So let's start by because the main aim here, you need to note, we are interested in only alphabet C, 2, alphabet B, and alphabet A1. So you must, whatever solution you're trying to work towards, it must give you those letters. Any other letter is redundant, right? So I'm just going to try and, 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 and manipulate around it. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to say angle D2 plus angle B is equals to 180 degrees. Reason is opposite angles of a cyclic quad are what? Supplementary, right? So I'm just going to write SUPP. The supplementary, they add up to 180 degrees, right? So that's the first statement we can uh, mention here. And then secondly, we're going to look at triangle a c d right so let's look at triangle a c d what do you see here you're seeing angle d2 right remember here's angle d2 you're seeing angle d2 angle a1 and angle c1 so how about you say angle d2 plus angle a1 plus c2 is equals to 180 degrees reason is a uh, sum of interior angles of a triangle right so if you add up all these angles of this triangle here they give you 180 degrees so that's another property right so now we're going to manipulate it how we have d2 angle d2 plus b is equal to 180 degrees right and you can also angle d see angle d2 here we want to remove it because this problem here only has c2 b and a right so that's the only thing we have so how can we uh, uh get rid of angle d2 we can say let me write it here so we have angle d2 
plus angle B is equals to 180 degrees. So angle D2 is equals to 180 degrees minus angle B, right? So instead of writing angle D2, or let me say where we see angle D2, we're going to write 180 degrees minus angle B. So we're just going to say, going to put that here. I'm going to say 180 degrees minus angle B plus angle A1 plus angle C2 is equals to 180 degrees, right? So now we're just going to solve because remember we only need angle C2 is equal to. So let's write that down. By transposing this 180 to the other side, it's going to be minus. So this and this will cancel out, right? So by canceling out, we will have the following. We'll remain with minus angle B plus angle A1 plus angle C2 is equal to zero, zero right? Uh, we want to equate it into C2. So it's just going to be C2 is equal to and transpose everything to the other side. We have angle B minus angle A1. So this is your final answer. Angle C2 is equal to B minus angle 1. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions or comments, please write them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click that bell button.